In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to automatically fulfill your Shopify dropshipping orders from AliExpress using a platform called AutoDS. So I'll show you how you can actually go and top up your credits on AutoDS so you can sit back and relax and let your Shopify dropshipping orders from AliExpress be fulfilled completely automatically. So the first thing you are going to want to do is sign up for an AutoDS account. I will leave a link in the description to AutoDS and using this link, you can get a 30 day free trial. So like I say, just fill out the sign up form and create an AutoDS account. Now I already have an AutoDS account, so I'm just going to log into that account. Once you are logged into AutoDS, you are going to want to connect your Shopify store to AutoDS. So click on add store and click on add store again, and then choose Shopify store and click on continue. You are then going to choose I have a Shopify store and then click on continue. You will then be brought over to the AutoDS Shopify app. So just click on install and click on install again. You will then be brought back to your AutoDS dashboard. So now you can choose an AliExpress product that you want to push to your store from AutoDS in order to be able to fulfill your orders automatically. So you are going to come to products. From here, you can click on add products and you will have a few different options. So you can import a single product from AliExpress, multiple products. You can choose the handpicked products from AutoDS and you can also use the AutoDS Finder to find other products. You can also go and add products that you already have on your store. So if you have imported products or you've added products from somewhere else, you can click on untracked products and you can go and connect a product that you already have from your store. However, I am just going to import a single product. So we will go to products and we are going to click on add products and choose single product. And then you can go and find the AliExpress link of the product that you want to import. So just copy that link, head back to AutoDS, paste the link in here, make sure where it says supplier source that you do choose AliExpress, and then just go and click on edit now if you do want to edit the product. From here, you can go and edit the product title, choose a collection. You can also go and choose the default shipping method that you want to use. And you can go and choose to turn on stock monitoring, price monitoring. And I do recommend that you turn both of these on just in case the product still continues to sell if it is out of stock or if there are price updates, these will be synced automatically on Shopify. And make sure that you have turned on auto order. So auto order will allow you to automatically fulfill the products once somebody purchases the product from your store. If you come over to the description, you can of course go and edit the, script, the description and you can use AutoDS's AI tools to go and optimize this. You can go and choose which variants that you want to push to your store. And if you click on edit, you can of course go and edit all of these variants beforehand. So you can go and edit the prices before you push them to your store. And up the top, you will see the total profit. If you do want to edit all of the variants at once, you can tick on this and then click on edit and you can go and bulk edit the variants and hit update in order to bulk edit all of the variants. You can then head over to images and you can go and select the images of the product that you are selling and you can click on set main image to choose the main image of the product. So I'm just going to select all of these images and then you can come over to item specifications and you can go and edit any of these if you want to. Once you have done that, you can click on save and import. After a few moments, the product will then be imported to your Shopify store. So if you just head over to your Shopify dashboard and go to products, you will see the product under products. So now how do you actually go and fulfill an order? So when somebody actually purchases an order from your store, you want to go and fulfill this through AliExpress. So if you come over to orders and from here, you will see any orders that have come through from your Shopify store. So now you can easily go and fulfill these orders automatically. Now, in order to automatically fulfill an order, you'll firstly have to make sure that you have enough auto order credits. Now, when you create an auto DS account, you will be given some free auto order credits by default, but you'll have to make sure that you always have enough auto order credits in order to automatically fulfill an order. So you can simply click on buy credits and essentially one order will cost you one auto order credit. So as you can see, the credits are very reasonably priced. So you can purchase as many credits as you need, depending on the amount of orders you are expecting. 
So you can go and choose the package and simply click on buy now. And once you have done that, we can just close this. Next up, you'll need a way to actually pay for your AliExpress orders. And you can do this by topping up your AutoDS balance. So your balance will actually pay for the products that you are fulfilling and your AutoDS credits will allow you to automatically fulfill your orders. So you'll also need to top up your AutoDS balance in order to go and pay for the products that you want to fulfill through AliExpress. So if you come over to the top right hand corner, you can click on this and you can click on load balance and you can go and top up your AutoDS balance. So anytime someone purchases a product from your store, it will be automatically fulfilled using your AutoDS balance. So as you can see, I already have $50 on my AutoDS balance. So now I can go and fulfill this order. So as you can see, it will say in order progress because earlier I turned on auto fulfillment, but you will need to connect your AliExpress account to your AutoDS account for these orders to be automatically fulfilled. So you can come to settings and from your settings, you are going to click on buyer accounts and then click on add account where it says supplier, just go and choose AliExpress. And then you are going to click on connect with AliExpress. You will then be brought over to AliExpress. And from here, you just need to log into your AliExpress account and then click on authorize. Once you have connected your AliExpress account to AutoDS, you will be brought back to AutoDS. And once again, you can click on settings and under supplier settings, you will see AliExpress. So now just click on orders and you're going to want to untick where it says process orders using the fulfilled by AutoDS service in order for your orders to be fulfilled via AliExpress. Now, if you leave this ticked on, your orders will be fulfilled by AutoDS. Now, I actually do recommend using this service. Since you actually have an AutoDS account, I recommend you trying out the fulfilled by AutoDS service because in a lot of instances, they can actually find products for cheaper and with faster shipping in comparison to AliExpress. So I recommend to go and create some test orders using the fulfilled by AutoDS service and see if you can get the product for cheaper and with faster shipping. And then you can decide whether you want to use AliExpress or not. However, if you tick this off, then all of your orders will be automatically fulfilled via AliExpress. Make sure that you leave automatic orders ticked on, and this will mean that you don't need to go and fulfill any of your orders. As soon as an order comes through from your Shopify store, it will be automatically fulfilled. You can go and edit some of these other settings. So for example, your maximum purchase order price. So if you're selling more high ticket items, you could go and increase this price. So this basically just means that any order over $500 won't be automatically ordered. So you can go and set this higher if you are selling more high ticket items and you can also go and edit the maximum loss. So for example, if your supplier on AliExpress increases the product price and you end up making a loss on the product, the order won't be automatically fulfilled if the loss is over the threshold that you set here. So for example, if you make a $3 loss, the order will still be automatically fulfilled. But at this point, if you make a $6 loss, the order won't be automatically fulfilled and you could perhaps go and refund the customer. But in most cases, you shouldn't be making a loss on your stores anyway. Now, the last thing that you need to do is click on plans and add-ons and you can scroll all the way down to the bottom and just make sure orders processor is chosen as part of your plan. If you don't have orders processor chosen, you won't be able to automatically fulfill those orders. Once you have done that, you can come over to orders and now your orders should show as ordered. And as you can see, my AutoDS account balance has updated because it has taken out the money that I have paid for this particular order. Once the order has been fulfilled, all of the tracking numbers will be updated automatically from your Shopify dashboard. So don't worry about the tracking numbers being sent to your customers because they will be updated automatically from AliExpress using AutoDS. So one last thing I do want to show you when it comes to fulfilling orders from AliExpress using AutoDS is the request sourcing feature. And this is where you can actually go and find your products for cheaper and with faster shipping. So you can click on request sourcing and then you will have created a sourcing request and AutoDS will be able to go and source the product that you are selling and they will give you the source price and the shipping times for your products. 
so you can source your products for cheaper and with faster shipping times. So there you have it. That is how you can start fulfilling your Shopify dropshipping AliExpress orders using AutoDS. If you have enjoyed the video, give it a big thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more dropshipping and e-commerce content. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one.